Hey guys and girls and thank you for watching another episode of the PlayStation Tester. My name is Maurice. Today we're getting a look at F124 on the PlayStation 5. Let's get into it. First of all, let's see how much data this game is. And that's 52.34 GB. The game is on EA Play. So if you have an EA Play subscription, you can get a five hour trial of the game to check out if it's something for you. When you still want to buy the game, you get 10% off. And that's, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's get it started. You guys, if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot for me, you're really helping out the channel. You can also hit the bell icon. I upload almost on a weekly basis new games, old games, updates on games, sometimes even a little bit of hardware here and there. So yeah, let's uh, get this started. I'm a big fan of Formula One, you know, I'm Dutch. So uh, yeah, of course, Max Verstappen fan. And um, I'm also a really big McLaren fan. I'll, since I was a little bit young lad, I was always McLaren, 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 McLaren. So yeah, I still love McLaren. Um, the game itself has two graphical modes. There's a uh, quality mode that aims for a 4K dynamic 4K at 60 FPS. There's also a 120 FPS mode, upwards to 120 FPS. It's pretty, um, I did a frame rate test for this. I, I didn't really hit the, the, the 120 FPS all the time. So it, it, this is, by the way, one of the worst parts I could find. I don't know why, but it could go as low as like 90 FPS. Most of the time, I must say it would, would run at 120 fps so maybe it's just a little bug or something i don't know but there were some issues with um, the frame rate going down into like the, the yeah 120 10s 120 everywhere in between the 60 fps mode perfectly fine nothing going on there but yeah the the, the, the 120 hertz mode is yeah it's a little bit strange because I had zero problems with the Xbox version of that game and that makes no sense because both versions are like, yeah, 99.9% .9 the same. So really, really strange. Um, ooh, money, money, money. Uh, let's pick a car Bahrain. Let's do a race during the day um i want to do an italian one monza that's a cool track i'm gonna play with the best driver in the world of course grand prix race monza this looks gorgeous Click, click, click. I think I had a decent start there. I need that chicane. That's such a hard one. does for I am doing good I'm really doing an extra step I'm playing by the way on super ultra mega easy normally I'm a yeah somewhat medium up to hard player with this game but yeah sometimes it's also fun to play on easy to be honest <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that but yeah, it looks gorgeous. Um, there is a um, little thing that uh, 
it, it, it's not a really big update from F123. Like I said in my Xbox videos already, this should have been like a maybe a paid update or anything like that. You know, if you already own uh, F123, you should have gotten this game for like half off or something like that. It uh, <clears throat> the, the 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 things that are added don't make up a price tag of like 80 euros uh, in my opinion that is there's no uh, racing point single player uh, the career is better than uh, than other years but yeah, it could be uh, could be even better I think you know it would be a, a fun extra if they would have added like the, the F1 Academy or something like that you know the the girls uh, racing right now there's only like F1 uh, and F2 cars but <sighs> yeah it would have been nice if F1 Academy would also have been in here been following it also it's really cool to watch by the way if you have the chance to uh, to watch the F1A, go check it out. It's it's really fun. Abby is uh, doing a great job there. Abby pulling. It's it's yeah. The uh, the tire uh, wear is definitely. Uh, better in this game uh, the tracks I think the Las Vegas track is completely revisited so it it, it definitely do, looks different from last year because last year the the, the track yeah, they didn't really knew how the track would look like because the track never opened ever so it was new for everybody And this year we got a more realistic track. No tire concerns at the moment, just focus on the driving. So yeah, that's a thing. Whee. This is indeed a simple track. If you play something like Singapore or Las Vegas, it's way harder. But this is a nice track, by the way, to drive on. I'm much more a guy. I don't really like street circuits. You know, I think a circuit that's made for racing is always better. And especially the somewhat newer race uh, or <sighs> wider race uh, tracks. You know, um, Monza is a good one. Silverstone is a good one. Um, I think in America, the only good one is Texas. That's a good track. Uh, Canada, uh, Red Bull Ring. Those are like the really cool tracks where... Yeah, you can see some real action, you know. I think the worst tracks right now are... Um, uh, Monaco. Monaco is boring. Yeah, it looks great and it's gorgeous to see. But in terms of the sport, it's, yeah, it's just a train. It has nothing to do with racing, that whole track. Uh, same goes a little bit for Las Vegas. Uh, it goes for definitely goes for Sandford. Also a really bad track, but yeah, we, because we have Max Verstappen, we uh, must uh, have a Dutch track. And the, the, the worst part is we here in the Netherlands we have two really good tracks, our big tracks, famous tracks. The first one is of course Sandford, that's the the most famous one. But you also got the TT Assen. And TT Essen is way more fit for Formula One than Sanford is. Like, it's insane. So it made no sense to go to Sanford with the Formula One cars. We literally have a amazing track here in the Netherlands. Perfect for um, Formula One cars, but they went for the more commercial one. So stupid. Oh, that's my dog. 
love the dual sense things by the way you can literally feel every bump in the road through your controller it's so incredibly good Let me know in the comment section what you think. Uh, what's what? What's your favorite track or favorite racer or um, favorite team boss? Favorite Shikan? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, this is a uh, it's it's an amazing game. But yeah, if you haven't bought bought a Formula One game uh, for a couple of years, I think this is the best. Formula One game ever made, but the 23 was also amazing already. So, yeah, it's not a a world brand new world or anything like that. Simply lovely. X first step. And in the end, there was no yeah, really cool stuff. But yeah, you guys, this is F124 on the uh, PlayStation 5. Um, it runs 1080p, 120 hertz, and also it runs. Um, 60 fps upwards to 4k so it's a dynamic 4k keep that in mind and yeah, it looks great it plays great it plays even better but yeah it really depends on yourself do you think it needs um, a new iteration go for it you, you won't be disappointed it's a lot of fun great game great graphics and Max Verstappen is number one. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Hope you had fun. Hope to see you guys soon in another one. <laughs> Bye.